<clears throat> salutations salutations hey everybody it's your girl Bloss here um intro is kind of different because in my day-to-day -day life when people come up to me when they greet me i say salutations so i'm like if i say it in real life why not bring it to my youtube channel so salutations everybody it's a greeting yeah instead of saying the other shit but yes let's get into this weight loss bsg two-year post-op weight loss video so i haven't seen y'all a little bit i don't remember how much i weighed the last time i was here but baby your girl has gained some weight since then um hmm your girl is 190 pounds i am a 190 pounds um let me actually get into some of my um measurements beforehand so i had bsg on march 3rd 2018 my highest weight was 288 pounds surgery weight was 268 pounds and today your girl is coming in at 190 pounds so let's just go on a little timeline of how i got here <sighs> baby I said I wouldn't get there, but I did get there. And I'm gonna to explain to you all, that's my Xbox. Let me cut my Xbox off real quick. Hold on. I had to cut my Xbox off because I, I, my bad sis. But yeah, let's get into how I got here. So get your popcorn. This is a weight loss update. This is a life update. And then this is going to be something of how this channel is gonna go for the next few months. So. I don't remember how much I weighed last time I was here. Today I'm sitting down in front of you, I am 190 pounds. And y'all know, I'm not an excuse kind of girl. I am the beholder of my excuses. Excuses, excuses are monuments of nothingness. So no excuses. I'm just gonna let y'all know the straight up facts of what happened. So um, last time I've been in the gym was in March because I am here in Michigan and in Michigan, our governor shut down our gyms in March, and since then I have not been in the actual gym. However, when I do go back into the gym, I know that I'm going to be fucking out of breath. I'm going to be so winded my first time in the gym. I'm gonna be happy, but I'm probably gonna cry because I'm gonna feel like I'm dead because I've been lost muscle and obviously gained weight. Um, I'm actually going to post my stats over here of my scale. So I'm saying I'm 190, but it might be different over there. I'm just going off on 190. Um, let me get a little bit more comfortable, sis, because we family, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to be all down here. You my sis, we sis, sisters. But yeah, so um, I would say I've gained the most weight within the past two months. And I would say it's because I am working remote. So I'm not as active as I was once before. When I was going into the office, I would make sure I get up and walk around and stuff like that. With me being at home, I ain't been thinking about that. I just been doing my work and sleeping, drinking wine, going to see my boo -bae, um, and eating. So that's literally what I have been doing. And um, the people around me, like family, some friends, they like this weight gain um my comfort weight was around 160 however everybody thought i was a crackhead and i didn't like that but i felt more comfortable in the 160s than i do versus the 190s even when i was originally losing weight i was not comfortable being 190 i wanted to get smaller so as of right now my goal is to get back to 160. so within these past few months as you all know we all been quarantined um i have been kind of sort of active but I would say overall, not as active as I was when I was more ser serious with my weight loss. So um, there were times where I would go out to the park, I would make sure that I would walk um, up to two miles or three miles or something like that. Um, I've been on a search for some freaking weights. If you know where to get some like 20 pound weights, please put me on because I have resistance bands. They're dope, I like them, but I miss weights. I want to start, excuse me, I want to start preparing my body for when I do actually go back to the gym. Um, because as I said earlier, I'm going to be half dead when I get back into the gym. Whatever I can do to try and 
not be like that, not go back to the gym and feel like dead for the next two days, I want to do that. But as of right now, I just been doing like resistance bands and um, a lot of walking. But I honestly say I like working out in the gym more than like outside in my apartment and stuff like that. Like I, I miss going to the gym. We literally had a moment where the gyms weren't going to open and literally within 24 hours, our governor said, nah, sis, Corona out there. You can go there and catch Corona, sis. You don't need to go there. Go home. Do some YouTube workouts. You'll be fine. I right, big Grinch. That's that. All right, sis. I understand it. Don't put my life at risk. You know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, if you follow me on Instagram, you all know that I have been posting more of someone that I've been kicking it with, my boobie. Um, his name is Marvin. And during quarantine, we didn't got like a lot closer and whatnot. And it's really <laughs> to the point to where I have him spoiled to come home to cook food. And um, Marvin is like 6'3", big ass man. And I'm not used to cooking all the time. Like I can cook, but I'm not used to cooking all like different types of food. And most of the foods I'm cooking is, isn't healthy food, you know what I'm saying? I'm used to cooking salmon in my apartment by myself, for myself. But I take into consideration when I am with him, the food that he likes. However, I have talked to him about like weight loss and I'm like, well, I'm going back pescatarian. So we are gonna have to figure out something about these meals because I'm cool with cooking meals, but I'm gonna have to make sure that I have me some type of fish that I can eat. And um, he also wants to start losing weight as well. So if you guys are open to it, I don't know how many like people will be open to that but him also documenting his weight loss on the channel comment that below if y'all want to see something like that um it'll show pretty much us together trying to lose weight um but i can say that that's been a nice little key factor in the ignition of me gaining weight cooking food for him pasta he loves pasta fried foods and all of that in addition to your girl drinks wine however I've been in my apartment for the past five days and I have not bought a glass of wine. So um, I think, okay, so I'm like in a really weird, like weird like moment in life. Um, the past few months I've been eating shitty. However, I still had a restriction. So let's say if I go out, um, I will eat and I will still have obviously food left over because I still have a restriction. However, my choices in foods, my choices in drinks have not been the best. And that's just me just going out living life. However, I'm starting to notice that I'm going out and living life, but I'm starting to pick better things to eat. And it's not, and I'm not even, and this was before I was in the mindset of wanting to lose weight. So it made me think, I'm like, okay, so is it my body telling me, okay, okay, Blossom, like, You've been eating shitty for a couple of weeks, a months now. Now it's time to get back on your stuff. I know what to do. I know your brain and your head can tell you, Ooh, I want to lose weight. But then your brain go in the kitchen and pour her a glass of wine. Now my body, Cletus down here, if you are, are a longtime subscriber, you know that I named my stomach Cletus. Cletus has been telling me, sis, you gonna get you some salmon. You gonna get you some green beans. Girl, let me introduce pickles back into your life because your girl been eating pickles. So I was thinking to myself, like, it's really, it's like my body is just naturally starting to go back into the state where it wants to lose weight because some of the things with this weight loss, weight gain stuff has been pretty hard and I'm noticing that my body is changing. For example, I can start to feel my weight the closer I get to 200 pounds, the more that I feel the weight on my body. And I do not like that. And I know somebody's asking, Blas, how are you feeling the weight? It's literally physically feeling the weight and also being sore or being like winded. No, you know what? I ain't got that. But just being winded, doing regular things that I'm not used to being winded anymore about. Like if I get up, go to my car, come back. Your girl be winded. 
Um, I do a lot of walking before the, the day before I wake up sore. So it's like, I gotta get out of that because back when I was in my 160s, I was up jumping, twerking, all that. Um, <laughs> having fun with life. I just felt more comfortable. I felt more comfortable physically. I felt more comfortable, um, the, like the way my body felt. Like I could do things and be comfortable. And I think that's probably because obviously I gained weight, but also I have lost a lot of muscle since the gyms have been closed. If the gyms were open, I probably would be maybe in the 170s, but with the gyms being closed and me not giving up, I, <laughs> I've been um, gaining weight. And to be completely honest with y'all, how am I feeling about it? It's like, I feel bad, but I'm not, going to put myself down about it constantly like I have moments where I will want to put myself down like oh you're just a fatty and blah 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 but I nipped that I nipped that in the bud to where it doesn't get to me because when I was bigger I would do that and I would go back and go eat now I do that I just chill I try and like meditate just try and calm down so yeah that was like I'm trying to think is there any other updates um i think that is all of the updates so now let's get into what the, this channel for the next few months so i told you guys from the jump i am an open book and i plan on documenting my weight loss again um starting off with the weight that i am now somewhere in between 190 and 195 and i just want to show you all how it is to lose weight post-op, post-op roughly two years, um, and what I'm doing to adjust like to my new stomach. Because as I told you all before, if you're new to this channel, I'll say it now, your first six, from your surgery to six months after your surgery, you lose the most weight. Six months to a year, that's when it starts to slow down. Your first year, slows down more and guess what second year it slows down more with me to be in two years post-op i don't expect myself to ever get on the scale and see that i lost 30 pounds i don't ever expect myself to get on the scale and see 20 pounds the most i honestly feel if i work my butt off that i can get on the scale and lose in one month probably be about, be about 15 pounds and that's still good because me personally when I was pre-op, your girl could not lose 15 pounds in one month. I still have my restriction. Um, I know the things that I should do to lose weight, AKA protein first, then your veggies, and then you know any carbs that you have. Um, with my upcoming weight loss, I'm not gonna go on the keto side. I am going to be strictly pescatarian. Well, not strictly. I am going back to pescatarian route because I felt the most lean. I had a lot of energy. And I love, I love fish, I love seafood. Um, however, I am going to give myself a leeway of one cheat meal a month that can be chicken because I kind of want to give up red meat. Red meat makes me sluggish. And I also want to give up pork because pork is just low key disgusting. Um, really what, well, the only thing pork wise and beef wise that I'll be giving up that will hurt my soul is barbecue and um that'll be hard but your girl can get her some salmon put my salmon on the grill and cook it don't make it mushy though i can do that so um yeah so what i plan on doing is going back to my weekly uploads um i'm hoping that i can do some variety into my weekly uploads because with me being two months i mean not too much two years post op literally I'm slowly but surely getting back into my old, um, I guess, body. Even if that is a thing. But if you are months out, weeks out, not weeks out, months out, years out, and you gain weight like I have, don't let it get you down, sis. Do not let it get you down. Get you a calendar. I have me a calendar. Write out what you're going to do for the month. For the month of August, I think I am not going to eat out. So my boyfriend probably is gonna be happy about that because he ain't gonna have to spend money on eating out. But I don't wanna eat out. 
Um, I'm probably going to do away with juices because even with me being two years post-op, I'm still not drinking pop because pop just makes me feel sick. Like I feel the bubbles inside of Cletus and Cletus does not like it. Um, I'm probably going to for sure up my water, um, do the pescatarian lifestyle and then also do these weekly uploads. Let me know if y'all prefer Monday uploads like I used to or if we should transition to Tuesday or another day. Um, like I said, make sure that you follow my Instagram. I'm trying to make sure I have everything wrapped up together. So we're going to go off of what, uh, what number was over here. So it could be 190, 195. One, I know I, I have not been, been over 195. I don't think I have. But yeah, we're going to go off of the number over here. So I'm going to see you next week, sis. Um, hopefully during the week I can try and do like some vlogs of what I'm doing to lose weight, especially with my resistance bands, because I'll be working out with the resistance bands and that's actually, it works, but I'm just used to weights. Um, and then also just showing like my workouts, my foods. Um, I also can record a, what I eat in a day because y'all, I got into acai bowls or whatever it is, A-C-A-I bowls those slap and i'm getting better at cooking them so um i'm also going to do a what i eat in a day it may not be this week but next week and i hope you all have a blessed morning night afternoon evening whenever you watch this week uh, look jeez i haven't done this in so long but you know what i was saying that's all that matters so i hope you all have a blessed morning night afternoon evening or whenever you watch this video and i'll talk to you guys later probably next monday so I'll see y'all then. Deuces.